I do or so blah blah blah. <laughs> wow, look at that highlighter and blush. Completely gone over today. Oh my god. <laughs> I was <laughs> Hello everybody. A couple of videos back I was talking about a particular makeup remover wipes because I was enjoying using it so much and one of you guys in the comments told me that Ranju did you know that makeup wipes contain harmful parabens and when I went back into the product and looked in the back side there was no mention of it at all so what I did because I'm one step cleverer than them. <laughs> I went out to their website and checked and found the entire list of ingredients and guess what? It had parabens in them. So I was a little bit taken aback. What the hell? Why would you not put something like that on the package and say if you're using paraben, like look user, you're using paraben because we've used it in the product. So I was a little taken aback and well, I was also kind of left with what do I use to take my makeup off because I love using makeup remover wipes. I feel like they make my life a lot easier. So after doing a little bit of research and trying on a whole bunch of things, I have finally come up with a makeup remover wipe that you can do it yourself and works amazing without all the harmful chemicals and parabens. So if you want to know how I do my own makeup remover wipes, then continue watching. So all you need to do this is a teaspoon of extra virgin coconut oil, a couple of drops of baby shampoo, I'm using the Johnson's baby one, you can use whichever one you prefer, a couple of drops of essential oil, I'm using this Nika one in the fragrance lavender, a cup of distilled water and of course to wipe the makeup off you need some cotton pads. Into the cup of distilled water add the coconut oil and stir to mix. I know it will not completely mix together but just do your best. To this also add a couple of drops of essential oil and the baby shampoo. Just a couple of drops of that as well. Mix everything together and into a kind of a clean pot. Drop in your cotton pads and pour this makeup remover liquid into it. Now if you don't want to use a cotton pad or create your own makeup remover wipe, what you can do is store this liquid in a clean bottle and just pour it into a cotton wipe as and when you want and just remove your makeup off. That will work as well but I like that my wipes to be wet and ready as and when I want to remove my makeup because sometimes in the night, I'm so tired. I cannot uncork a bottle and pour the makeup remover liquid into my cotton pad and do it. I, I mean, I appreciate the couple of seconds that I don't have to mess about and just straight in reach for a wet cotton pad and remove my makeup off. That's it for this video. I know it's quite a short one, but again, all good things come in small packages. So let me know if you want me to do more such uh, kind of a money saving makeup related hacks and I will be happy to do them. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.